hair products, makeup, skincare, body care, fragrance as well. Better late than never, all of my beauty empties. Ever since I started doing this on a yearly basis, YouTubers that are in the Project Pan community, it showed me what my tendencies were, product preferences. It also forces me to declutter from time to time and it's super satisfying to put all this stuff out on the curb after a year. Let me tell you, I put everything in an Excel sheet. I have a video where I discuss how I organize my project pans, how I organize my empties as well. I don't know what's gonna happen when I run out of stuff. I'm gonna have to develop like a minimalist skincare routine at some point in time when all this stuff goes off. Without further ado, the first category I'm gonna talk about is body. In the tally, it was two deodorants. I will give honorable mention to the products I actually like because I think that that's really helpful because there's a lot of things that I use up that I don't even necessarily love or recommend whether I purchased them myself or whether they came in PR without shading any companies there. I love the routine deodorant in Sexy Sadie. My friend Ellie put me on this and I haven't heard from her in a really long time. I'm not good at long distance friendships, except for the one I'm going to Australia for next month, but that is a whole other story. Uh, this is a natural deodorant. I do find myself having to reapply this, so I keep a little jar that's basically a whatever product sample jar thingy or you can get one of those travel mini jars and i scoop some out and i keep it in my purse so that i can reapply whenever i go to the bathroom and if i feel like a little less fresh if you will because it doesn't stop you from sweating but it does change the odor i go through about two of these a year and these are a bit over 30 dollars 11 lotions Oh my gosh, I have been really digging body lotion lately. Honorable mention to La Roche-Posay Lipicare. The creams that were recommended to my mom at the hospital to use it after radiation. It's the real deal. I had this like weird breakout over my eyelid in, I think it was 2022. I went to the pharmacist. I kind of botched my face. I botched my eyelid, okay? I had an irritated spot, I put some glycerin on top, I wasn't properly hydrated before doing it, I didn't know any better. He's like, okay. Gives me a sample of La Roche-Posay Lipicare and tells me to buy Cortisone, which is a steroid cream. And he says, put on the Lipicare first, make sure it sinks in, and then chase it with the Cortisone after. And that ish was off my eyelid. That is a bit of a tangent, but I highly recommend Cicaplats or Lipicare from La Roche-Posay if you need a great hydrating cream, especially in the winter time. The count of body care products is 22, total of 22. I used up 13 fragrances. Quite a few of them were sample size. Elizabeth Arden White Tea and Lola by Marc Jacobs by Marc Jacobs. The monetary value is 155. I think there's another one too that I'm almost done that's in my overnight bag and I'll be using some when I go on vacation. So that'll be nice. For hair, I used up six conditioners, two oils, six shampoos. Now, I went up one in conditioner and one in shampoo because last year I used five and five. One hairspray and one style cream. That makes for a total of 16 hair care products at $318 for an estimate market value price. I feel like this is a category that most people are interested in when it comes to empties, but I'm boring because I don't use a lot of makeup. I finished one blush. That was the blush stick from Charlotte Tilbury. It was the beach stick in terracotta that has been in a couple of projects for me, Partners in Cream mainly, and that took me more than a year to finish because I get bored and I have to like switch things up a little bit. And I also don't wear makeup every day. I'm pretty satisfied with how much I use that. I'm not gonna scrape the bottom of like the plastic casing. That's just too much for me. Two eye primers, sample size. The Urban Decay one went hard on me, so it's a little bit of a cheat. I don't frequently wear eyeshadow primer these days. I just feel like I don't need my eyeshadow to last that long because I don't really wear eyeshadow to the office and I sort of wear it in the evening or on the weekends. Two eyeliners, no surprise there. I'm pretty sure they were, were they liquid? I didn't even specify, I'm pretty sure they were liquid eyeliners. You know how they dry out after a little bit of time? I wear a flick, 
very, very often. And I do it in the style of someone who has hooded eyelids would do because my eye shape has changed over the years and I feel like that is more forgiving than trying to go up and messing with the fold of my eyelid that is starting to change shapes. Even in five years, your face between 20 and 25 changes. Face between 22 and 27, there is a difference. Four mascaras, one face primer, that was a sample size. I remember that, that was bodyography. That makes for a total of 11 products, retailing at about $133. The following is skincare, 14 moisturizers. I will use them on other parts of my body because I have a lot of skincare that I need to finish that is gonna go off. I have finished two eye creams, three lip balms, Guys, if you have a recommendation for something that's good for cracked lips, please let me know. But I have been disappointed with the Laneige sleeping lip mask. I'm not a skincare expert. I'm not a dermatologist, so don't hate on my opinion. If you love Laneige lip mask, then use it. I feel bad because I got most of it in PR. I love their other products like the water bank moisturizer and they have this milky mist. I forget what it's called, I'll put it on screen, but I really like that product and I've been using it religiously over the last couple of weeks. Lip oil, I used one. I tend to use lip gloss a lot as well because that kind of deters me from my lip picking habits. I have one lip scrub. I know that's the one from Pixie and it's kind of gross now and it's time for me to let it go. One face oil, three makeup removers, one face serum, one spot treatment. La Roche-Posay, again, I love the Duo Effaclair for breakouts. And two toners, including the Pixie Glow Tonic, which I only had this much left at the bottom and I was so excited to finish it, but it started to get these sort of particles. You know when a vitamin C product oxidizes? That's what it looked like. I would also use it as a toner in the summertime after shaving because to avoid ingrowns and to kind of perk up my skin in the whole exfoliation process. So that leads me to 29 skincare products totaling $822 worth of products, more or less. I finished a total of 91. 64 were full size and 26 were sample. I'm very happy because I reached close to 100. I kinda want to aim between 80 and 100 by the end of the year. Note that about 20% of it is going to be sample sized products. I'm getting 91 products out of the house. I'm very happy about that. And the grand total is $1,726 worth of products. Dude. If I used more expensive things, I could make it to 2,000. Some products cost exponentially more than others, but take more or less time to finish because, you know, the price per ml, da da da. I hate statistics, but statistics and beauty empties to me is really interesting. Let me know how 2023 panned out for you. I want to continue to dwindle down my skincare stash. I wanna get the skincare out of the bookshelf, just migrate all the products into my Alex drawers, which I will then continue to dwindle down. I look forward to seeing you in one of my next videos, which will probably be a declutter and uh, yeah. Thumbs up, see you later.